guys, how are you? Welcome back to this new vlog. I hope you guys are doing good. And uh, happy Sunday to all. I'm on reefer rounds. I'm going to check reefers for today. And uh, currently, I'm walking in the passageway. And there is one advantage of this ship that we can access all the cargo holds from the passageway as well. So this is a good advantage when we have a bad weather. It is still possible to check all the reefers which are loaded in the cargo hold. Don't take me wrong, but this video is not about reefers. In this video, I'm going to cover engine control room, that is ECR, that is the heart of the vessel. And I will show you that how we start and stop the generators, how we connect the generators to the main switchboard, and how we start other auxiliary engines, how we prepare main engine. Everything I will cover in this video. So stay tuned and keep watching this video until the end. Uh, guys, uh, before going to ECR, I would like to show you the cargo hold. Uh, as you know, I'm walking in the passageway, so I will show you that how we access the cargo hold. So let's go. Guys, I'm going to enter in number two cargo hold. Number one cargo hold is the forward. So one, two, three, four, five. So we have total five cargo holds. Inputs are loaded. In number 2 cargo hold and 3 and 4 so I will go one by one but I will show you only number 2 cargo holds because right now I am going inside so it looks like it's dark so here we have a light switch I will switch on the lights so this is the cargo hold guys so this door is a watertight door and if you access any place, need to close back because there we have an indication close and open and uh, this signal is going to the bridge so these doors should be closed all the time Here are reefers loaded. Uh, in this cargo hold, we have total 20 reefers. So, guys, this is number two cargo hold of our vessel, and uh, you can see it is quite big. And uh, total 150 container can accommodate in this cargo hold. And uh, as you can see, the containers are loaded in the center. Mars containers, and on sides, it's completely empty and top uh, on top you can see this is the hatch cover so when we go in the port the gantry cranes take off this cover and uh, load the containers right, uh, let's go out of this cargo hold and sorry that uh, i didn't explain you much about reefers because i believe it needs another video to cover this topic so definitely i will make another video and uh, cover this topic in details and tell you all about reefers and but I can tell you one thing that the reefers are very important and this is the first priority of an electrical engineer to check in the morning or after 12 hours if there is some special reefers because we have to make sure that they are running in good condition without any trouble because they are carrying very important commodities like food, fruits, juice and milk and there are plenty things so they are really very important commodities and uh, these reefers has to be reached to the customer of our company in time so we need to make sure they are running continuously without any trouble without damaging any cargo this is our first priority and they are really important Guys, here we are and welcome to the ECR that is engine control room. These electrical panels are called main switchboard and there we have a ECC that is engine control console which is fitted with a lot of devices and parameter indicators everything. And this is computer working computer and that is the entry to the engine room and uh, that side that is the entry to the emergency exit. Now I will explain you the engine control console. Let's start with the 
फायर अलार्म रिपीटर सो ऑन ब्रिज वी हैव द मेन फायर अलार्म सिस्टम एंड दिस इज द रिपीटर पैनल ऑफ दैट एंड हेयर वी हैव अ लोकल फायर फाइटिंग कंट्रोल मॉनिटरिंग पैनल यूज वाटर मेस्ट टू एक्सटिंग द फायर एंड दिस सिस्टम इज इंस्टॉल ऑन मेन इंजन डीजल जनरेटर नंबर वन टू थ्री प्योरीफायर रूम एंड दिस इज ड्यूटी अलार्म पैनल टू चेंज ओवर द स्टेटस ऑफ इंजन रूम अटेंडेड और अन अटेंडेड एंड दिस इज द इंजन रूम अलार्म इंडिकेशन पैनल and these are a boiler level indicator and pressure remote indicator same for uh, exhaust boiler also and this is the emergency stops for the ventilation and engine room fans so these are divided in the zones like es1 es2 es3 es4 like you can pause this video and check this list this is mcp that is a manual call point so in case of any emergency or fire if you want to raise the fire alarm you can break the glass and the fire alarm will be sounded and this is the general alarm push button and here we have a bearing distance monitoring system indication unit uh, this is engine monitoring system display unit where we can uh, check all the pressures and emission controls and this is a main operating panel for the main engine so from this display unit we can monitor control and test of each uh, main engine unit and its parameter so even if there is any problem on one of the component of the main engine we can cut off also from here and this is the maneuvering speed table if you want to watch it properly you can pause the video so this is the main engine telegraph and as you can see this uh, full half slow dead slow speed scale this uh, orange speed scale is for the aston and the white speed scale is for the ahead so using that uh, lever we can give kick to the main engine that is the uh, main engine increase limit switch and this is the main engine take command ecr switch if there is a command on bridge then to take the command in ecr we need to push this button and that is the emergency stop for the main engine and this is a main engine protection operating panel and this one is a main engine uh, maneuvering operating panel and here we have uh, plenty gauges this is main engine fuel oil pressure meter and this is cooling water pressure meter this is turbocharger lube oil pressure meter and lube oil pressure meter this is all for the main engine and here we have uh, one more thing main engine starting air pressure that is uh, giving 25 bar and this is main engine load indicator and this is main engine turbocharger tachometer main engine rpm indicator right now we are moving at 60 rpm so this is a both thruster load indicator and here we have a rudder angle indicator from the steering gear room and uh, this is a speed lock display unit right right now we are moving at a speed 12.3 knots and uh, this is the shaft power meter this is the shaft power meter control unit and guys uh, this is a sound power telephone and here we have uh, another one that is the automatic telephone and this is a cams display unit so we can monitor control and adjust everything on the main engine auxiliary engines and other machineries so here is the power management system display i have opened it for you i can show you here these are the generators dg1 dg2 and dg3 and right now dg2 is running and it is connected to the main bus bar or main switchboard this is the main bus bar and uh, here are some uh, loads from the reefers and this is the both thruster and this is the main generator and these are the loads uh, from the reefer distribution units and this is the emergency switchboard and uh, the emergency switchboard bus bar guys now i will show you that how we prepare the main engine for the departure and for the arrivals so let me open that page in the cams so here it is uh, for the main engine start sequence and departure so this is the page and here all the motors and uh, pumps that need to be start for the main engine preparation it is all over here so just need to press one button over here and uh, everything will start automatically so let me show you this uh, arrival procedure page so this is the main engine stop sequence and arrival procedure so here also you need to select one option and that is stop main engine everything will start stopping by itself 
So guys, this is our toolbox meeting area. So every morning 8 o'clock we come here, everyone, crew, officer, everyone sitting over here all together and discuss all the jobs and all the jobs are distributed to everyone. So this is the first place we come and meet to each other. And uh, this is a coffee machine and we enjoy our coffee break also here. And this is the water fountain. And this is the ECR package here code number one and uh, number two is the other side. And here, this is the server unit for the ECR and the main server unit is on the e deck. This is EICU unit that is engine interface control unit, A and B unit. And uh, here we have some beautiful plants. So guys, can you guess whether they are real or fake? Just let me know in the comment section. So guys, if you like this video till now, please press the like button because it will really help me to grow my channel and here this is small area walkie talkie charging station so guys as i told you about the main bus bar so let me show you the real location of this so here we are this is the main switchboard and the main bus bar is inside this main switchboard so let me tell you a little bit about this main switchboard also this is a group starter panels number two which are connected on number two feeder panels so all the motors and pumps are connected on this group starter panels. So this, these are the circuit breakers which are connected to number 2 440 feeder panel. This is reefer power distribution control board. And this is number 3 main generator panel. So the generator is directly connected to this panel. And this one is a synchronization panel. So using this synchronization panel we can manually synchronize all the three generators to the main bus bar if there is any problem in the automatic synchronization system. And this is number two generators panel and this is number one generator panel. And this is a both thruster control panel which is also on main switchboard. And these are other 440 circuit breakers and uh, group starter panel number one which is also connected on other side of the main switchboard. And this is 220 feeder panel. So guys that's all the complete overview of the engine control room. And this is UPS guys for the main engine UPS means uninterrupted power supply unit. So in case of any blackout or something so this will be the one which will give backup power to the main engine electronic equipments and all. So guys this is lockout station which are very useful equipment for the safety wise. So before starting any job on the electrical system need to isolate it completely and confirm dead circuit. And in this rack we can find all the engine room machinery manuals. So in case of any trouble we can always get help from these books. So guys I hope this video will be very helpful for you. So if it is yes then please like subscribe and share this video as much as you can. And uh, don't forget to click the bell icon to get the notification of my upcoming videos. Till then take care, keep smiling and be happy and enjoy your life. Goodbye, see you in the next video.